Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to create a part, use a part from Inventor and create it into a file that we can set up to use on our Dremel 3D45 uh, printer. Uh, to do so, first you have to create the part. In this case, I have this axle handle uh, that's been created, and I want to set that up so I can print off the axle handle to use on a device. Uh, to do that, once you have your part created, you've saved it, you've done everything you want editing wise, uh, we're going to go to annotate and CAD format. Uh, you want to make sure you change to file type to STL. Uh, it does not default to STL, it defaults to a DWG, so make sure you change the file type to STL. Uh, save it as a name and make sure you keep track of where that's located. Uh, on my computer, I created a 3D print file folder, so I'm going to go to that folder and place it in that folder. And I am already printed that one before, so I have to replace that file. Once I have it in that file, then I'm going to open a tool called, an app called Dremel Dig DigiLab 3D Slicer. So all I'm going to do is type in DRE, um, you can see DigiLab, you can't see it on the bottom of the screen. But Dremel DigiLab 3D Slicer. I'm going to open that app. I've actually had an instant of it open, but it will open a new one. And once it opens, as long as it's set up for your printer, you should be ready to already place your uh, STL file on there. So in this case, my p material is going to be PLA, medium quality is going to be fine, 20% infill, and I don't need plate adhesive. Uh, so then I'm going to open the file, and there's my axle handle quarter inch, so I'm already in the right folder, so it's in the right location, ready to go. I'm going to select open, and it places it on there. You can see it, you may or may not be able to see it on there. It's really, really tiny at this time. Uh, so to make it the size I made it on Inventor, I need to first select the object. Uh, then I'm going down to scale, and I want to change it to a thousand percent. So by default, when you put an Inventor file, on to this DigiLab slicer, it defaults to what a thousand percent is equal to the dimensions you build it on Inventor. Uh, then with this particular item, with the orientation of it, you can see it's standing upright. Uh, it's going to build a lot of supports under that, and we don't want a lot of supports we're going to have to cut off. So I'm going to again click on this object, and I want to rotate it. So I'm going to go over to rotate. I'm going to select the axis of which I want to rotate and I'm going to rotate it so it lays flat. Now I got it laid flat so I can uh, prepare this file. It's how I want it. That's the orientation I want. I can, if I right click on my mouse I can spin around and see all the orientation of it. Once you have it how you want all you have to do is click prepare. It's going to slice it for you. It tells you how long it's going to take to print, how much material you use, uh, and that kind of information. Uh, once it says ready to save the file, you just plug in your USB. I don't have a USB on me at this time, but it says save the removal device, and you just click save the removal device. Uh, then you can take that file to your DigiLab, to your Dremel 3D45 printer, uh, plug it in, and find that file to print. Hopefully, this helps with preparing a uh, 3D print file for your Dremel 3D45. And good luck.